Raider Nation, it's time for another episode of Raiders Playback. And today we're joined by Jerry Porter, and we are going to talk about the snow game. And I'm really excited because this is one that I've wanted to talk about for a while. Some old-fashioned football for you tonight in the cold and the snow from Denver, Colorado. Collins, double pump, touchdown. touchdown. We were struggling to get uh, move the ball against them. They, like, they crowded the box, and Coach was calling themselves a, a pretty conservative game plan. We were trying to get con uh, just control the ball and uh, move it, not trying to get big chunks. But when we got to, it got to a certain point, I think we were about the 39, and it was like take a shot space. They were squatting, and it was just a perfect setup. Kerry Collins put that ball exactly where it had to be. I mean, if you're six inches to the left or you're six inches to the right, that's either an interception or an incomplete. He put that one on a dime for you. He laid it out there. It was tough because the the night sky, it's like, it's just dark. And like, I look, when I first looked up, because I, I they tell you not to look back because it slows you down. So you look up and I looked up, I didn't see anything. And if you notice, I looked over one shoulder and didn't see. So I looked over the other shoulder and the ball was right there. And uh, just tried to make sure I squ squeeze the ball and uh, get in the end zone. Collins, line drive, throw, Porter, touchdown. And just like that, the Raiders have the lead. So what I remember from that, I think we were in, we were in the red zone and I'd noticed something from like the first time we played uh, Denver, how Champ plays. And I saw it again, and it's like in the snow, it only takes like a moment, a hint of indecision from the defense, and it make, it gives you a huge avenue for the ball to come through. So um, I don't know what he thought I was running, but I mean, I think I pretty much, I was mad at the route I ran. I ran like a very bad angle slant. It was like a short post, but the stick I gave him, it stopped his feet and he, he got stuck. And I guess maybe slipped or whatever, but I mean, Kerry again, put it right between the eight and the four. The silver and black go down again, 24-13 in the fourth quarter. And then Ronald Curry comes, makes it close with arguably one of the greatest catches you will see in a player make in football. I love that catch. I um, I was um, opposite side of the field and I think we were both running a route where uh, like mirrored routes, like um, both of us going to uh, run across the back of the end zone and whichever way the safety uh, went to, we're going to go opposite. So I guess they came to my side and uh, Kerry laid the ball in the air, just like like pillow soft. And Ronald jumped up and caught it, cradled it, and made it to the ground and started doing the snow angel. I think I was one of the first two, first people over to him. I was like, dude, you just made Sports Center with this one. I was like, I have never, ever. And then we started to help him up and started to celebrate. But that, that was one of the best catches I've ever seen. But just a few minutes later, your third and the final touch end of your afternoon in Denver, evening, I, I guess I should say, in Denver. And this is with less than two minutes to go to take the lead and ultimately ice this game away for the Raiders. Well, that one, I noticed that they didn't play man anymore. So it was like, um, let me see if I can find this soft spot. I noticed they didn't play man because when, uh, when we broke the huddle, there was nobody to chase or follow me. Um, Champ was on his side, and I forget who the other DB was, but I remember I saw, uh, I think it was Kanoe Kennedy, one of the safeties down in like an eight-man box. And I was like, oh, okay, it's not man, it's gonna, they're gonna zone us off. And the zone took the read away from me being like the primary right there. So as the play went on, I ran my slant and the a backer dropped right in the way, right away. And I mean, just playing football, I got right in uh, Kerry's sight, like, directly under the goal post and he threw a seed and I just had to squeeze it and make sure I caught it and that was the game. You can't use anybody to get in the air. It blocked it. It was Langston, Langston Walker. Walker. Big Dookie, he was like Matumbo out there. I mean, you don't realize that he is 6'8", but he's every bit of 6'8". And on the, the field goal that close, um, without him, we lose that game. Um, cause the, uh, a field goal kick from like 42, it gets up pretty high. And if he didn't, they, the, the defensive line plus Langston don't get that, that surge and he doesn't get his hand up. I'm pretty sure they would have made that a pretty good kicker back then. I remember. Jay, how it, hard was it to see the, the lines and the sidelines and all that stuff? Cause when I went back and I watched the game, I couldn't even tell what was inbounds, what was out of bounds. Like what was it like playing in those conditions? It's fun because, um, they don't, the DBs don't know where you're going, so they have to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that like kind of in the heat of the battle, do you even like 
think about, hey, man, like, where are the sidelines? Are you just kind of so locked into what you guys need to do that, you know, hey, it's cold out and it's snowing and things are kind of difficult, but it's kind of just what you're dealing with that day? It's football. Like, I, there's nothing like we go out, we're out, we're out. We, you snap your helmet on, you got your pads on. No matter what the weather is, you're going to go out and play. I think Tim Brown used to say, like, hey, don't worry about the weather. I mean, everybody has to deal with it. Like, treat this game how you make sure you're comfortable. So I, I treat the game like every other game. So uh, sleeve or no sleeve, I'm not trying to be a tough guy, but I don't wear sleeves. So let's go. It's cold. So what? Let's go. Well, Jerry, man, hey, we appreciate you so much. This was a lot of fun. I hope you're staying safe. You're staying healthy. And uh, hopefully we can do this soon again and, you know, do it in person and not have to be over Zoom and live in this virtual lifestyle. Absolutely. But we got options. So we can do it again anytime. Absolutely. I love it, brother. Appreciate you. Take care.